Live from our seven Tasmania studios, your nightly news with Rachel Williams begins now. And our leaders are working around the clock to stem the spread of coronavirus. A series of sweeping and significant changes are on the way. We cross live now to our reporter Michelle Wisby to talk us through the news in Tasmania. Good evening Michelle. What have we learnt today? Rachel, we've heard a number of new developments come through which are set to impact all of us here in Tasmania. Now, cruise ships have been banned here. There's increasing calls to close schools and doctors are pleading for more equipment. Now, Public Health has revealed the most recent confirmed case of the disease in Tasmania is a close contact of a previous case. The woman in her 60s was travelling with someone diagnosed with the disease and is being treated in hospital. We've also just heard the Supreme Court of Tasmania will be taking new measures to reduce the risk of infection, impacting those on juries and court staff. And we understand that some private schools could be looking to moving to online courses for their students as soon as this week. But now, Rachel, let's take a look at a more detailed look at the situation today. The last passengers to walk off a cruise ship in Tasmania any time soon. They arrived in Hobart yesterday, but just 24 hours later, the Premier made this announcement. We will direct TAS ports uh, to suspend all cruise ship visits to our ports until the 30th of June, at which point we will undertake a review of the situation. As coronavirus fears escalate, the ban will impact 12 ships and an industry worth $30 million a year to our economy. We generally are happy to have cruise ships here, don't get me wrong, but I think at this point in time, with everything happening in this uh, coronavirus cycle, I think it's a great move by the Premier to stop them. I think it's a safe move and I applaud him for doing it. The Premier saying at this time there will be no bans on incoming flights or Spirit of Tasmania voyages. It comes as overnight a woman in her 60s was diagnosed with the state's sixth confirmed coronavirus case. She's in a stable condition at the Royal Hobart Hospital, the travel companion of an identified close contact of a previous Tasmanian case. All six cases are directly linked to people or, pe or involved people who have arrived in Tasmania from overseas. Uh, we haven't identified evidence of transmission within our community outside these cases. As cases rise, hospital staff are already looking to find new isolation units, rearrange emergency departments and utilise private hospitals, taking its toll on our already stretched elective surgery waiting list. That's a potential. Elective surgery is being assessed on a daily basis uh, and in terms of the whole health system uh, may, being made uh, with regards to the risk that we are seeing. We don't have a cure. We don't have a vaccination. The only thing we have to keep the community safe is to focus on prevention, prevention and prevention again. Saying medical professionals are already running low on critical supplies. We need better testing facilities, we need more testing equipment, we need protective equipment. We are running out of masks, we are running out of surgical gowns. That's something that needs to be addressed very, very quickly. The Premier needs to introduce a range of restrictions around social distancing and limiting the, um, the movements of people into Tasmania. Making sure that we send clear and concise information to all people so they understand what their responsibilities are, what they need to do if they're concerned and how they can support one another. And despite calls to close schools, the Premier says he has no current plans to do so. If and when we need to close a school, um, if based on advice, we will do so. Um, but that advice um, uh, currently isn't uh, there. One of six people in Tasmania diagnosed with the virus has now recovered and has been released from hospital. Michelle Wisby, 7 Tasmania News. The future of a Tasmanian sporting club is up in the air after a national event was delayed due to fears surrounding the spread of the coronavirus. The Launceston BMX Club was due to host thousands of riders for the national championships but is now left cash strapped. A world-class track transformed from top to bottom through countless volunteer hours. This was said to be the centrepiece for the nation's best riders in just two weeks' time. We're all pretty devastated. Um, it was a big sort of lead-up, everyone sort of under the pump to, to try and get things done. Those national championships now stalled at the start gates, a huge windfall for the Launceston BMX club gone begging. We were 
banking on the nationals for the funds. The damage extends into the tens of thousands. Some works have been left unfinished, local businesses are owed money and the club is fighting to survive. Got to be worried, like the club's put itself in a position to get where we are and there's a lot of money hanging. A lot of the works that have happened, it's been done on the condition that we pay for it over the next few months. Young riders among those heartbroken. I was looking forward to it um, and then I realised that it got cancelled because of the virus. Pretty disappointed with all the hard work put in. One saving grace, the event is not cancelled, only postponed until October at this stage. We can't say for sure but that's the plan. We hope. Can only hope mate. But the immediate focus for the club and its 135 riders, its bank balance. We'll be OK, but it's just we've just got to find some funds from somewhere. Garth Burley, 7 Tasmania News. Launceston's much-anticipated Mamma Mia! The Musical is the latest big event to be scrapped in the short term due to coronavirus health fears. The Singing Dancing Spectacular was set to take centre stage in the coming weeks, featuring more than 100 cast and crew members. After more than six months of preparations and rehearsals, organisers were forced to make the agonising decision. This is an unprecedented time in our world and we know that this is the right decision. That doesn't make it any easier. Organisers say the move will leave them more than $150,000 out of pocket. Management planning to reschedule the event within the next year and ticket holders are entitled to a full refund. Meanwhile, the federal government's looming mass gatherings ban didn't stop a Huon Valley food festival from attracting thousands of patrons. Organisers say extra precautions were taken to minimise the risk of germs spreading as the number of Tasmanian coronavirus cases continues to rise. Sizzling seafood smoking on this giant pan. as queues for delicious delicacies flood the foreshore at the third annual Dover Sea Fest. So we've ordered a seafood plate and we've ordered a pizza and we're going to try some fish and chips as well. Well we like crayfish, <laughs> any fish actually, yeah, everything's nice, all the food's good here. Organisers originally unsure whether to postpone the seaside event after the number of coronavirus diagnoses began to rise in Tasmania, but decided to still go ahead due to the lack of international exposure, with extra precautions taken for public safety. We've got um, a much more rigorous cleaning and frequent cleaning roster going on for the toilets. We've got hand sanitizers um, pasted up against different places around. Um, and on our Facebook post, we did encourage people that if they weren't feeling well, maybe sit this one out. Held just in time, as the federal government's ban on non-essential gatherings of 500 or more people is implemented from tomorrow. Hopefully it won't go for 12 months and there'll be some containment. I think this could be the last big gathering we'll see for a while with this year's Huon Valley celebration said to be much needed for the community following devastating bushfires last summer. I'm a local from Deeston and I like to support other locals in the area. Come down and support the Dover people and the community and you know, we've had a tough 12 months or so, so yeah, do what we can. We're from the Huon too, so we support our people, businesses and everything. Ruby Kamein, 7 Tasmania News. Plans for two major hotel developments worth $50 million in Launceston have been released. The hotels are proposed for Tamer Street on the existing Clarion Hotel and Alfred Harrop and Sons Warehouse. One of the new hotels is set to be 11 floors and will include a day spa, gym and pool. The development application by Global Premium Hotels will be open for public comment until the end of the month. After 18 months of community collaboration, the Salvation Army has today unveiled its action plan in a step towards reconciliation with Tasmania's Indigenous population. The plan includes objectives to honour cultures, spiritualities, histories and languages. So around welcome, around inclusion, but also actively to work courageously to see uh, Aboriginal people be able to be given uh, the same opportunities as others across the state as well. The actions are intended to meet requirements of legislation to amend the constitution passed in 2016. 
Tasmania's Sheffield Shield season has ended early with Cricket Australia cancelling the final round in response to the coronavirus pandemic. The Tigers were due to play Victoria in Melbourne on Thursday. The Sheffield Shield final scheduled for the 27th of March also looks in doubt. However, officials are yet to make a decision. The Tasmanian Devils women's side have gone down by 57 points in their first interstate match of the NAB League. Despite good intent from the girls in green, Eastern Rangers were unstoppable, booting four goals in the final 10 minutes of the fourth quarter to sink any hopes of a fight back. The Devils' next assignment will be against the Calder Cannons in Craigieburn next Saturday. Well, hundreds of runners put their best foot forward today. Run Devonport starting from Mersey Bluff, with competitors able to take on challenges of various distances, ranging from one kilometre up to 10 k's while encouraging people of all ages and physical abilities to take part. The male and female winners of the longest feat receiving $500 each. Good evening everyone. Temperatures below average today with Launceston the state's top of 21 degrees, Burnie reaching 20 and 19 in Hobart and Devonport. Across the state, 20 degrees in Smithton and Ouse, Flinders Island, St Helens, Lowhead and Grove all reaching 19 degrees and 17 for King Island and Strawn. There were partly cloudy conditions covering Tasmania today and across Australia a low is situated to the south of Western Australia bringing extensive mid and high level cloud to this area. An onshore flow is responsible for low cloud along the eastern seaboard. Tomorrow's chart shows the high tracking towards the Tasman Sea. A low pressure system and associated cold front moves towards the bite while surface troughs and lows remain around the northern and western coasts of the mainland. Southeast to southerly winds tomorrow, 5 to 15 knots, tending east to northeasterly, 10 to 15 knots throughout the morning. 20 degrees in Hobart tomorrow, partly cloudy and 20 in Dover, ooze reaching 22. Launceston, partly cloudy and 21. Showers clearing and 19 in Devonport, 20 in Scottsdale. Burnie, light showers and 19, partly cloudy and 20 in Strawn. And Stanley, clearing showers and 20 degrees. And in the east, St Helens, 18. Partly cloudy and 19 in Swansea and Ross reaching 20. The UV across the state tomorrow is 6 and 7, which is high. Moving on to Tuesday now, light showers developing about the west and far south, mainly fine across the rest of the state. Showers developing again in the west and far south on Wednesday, mainly fine elsewhere. And on Thursday, showers about the west and southwest extending statewide during the morning. Perth, showers and 26 tomorrow. Adelaide and Melbourne, both sunny. Canberra, partly cloudy and 19, showers in Sydney and partly cloudy and 27 in Brisbane. And currently Hobart, 16 and partly cloudy, Launceston also partly cloudy and 19 degrees and mostly sunny and 17 degrees in Devonport. And Rach, that's the weather tonight. Lovely, thank you very much for that Chelsea. Well, that's all your news for now. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. Good night.